Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vera Change and I'm a beauty photographer and retoucher based in the UK. Recently I've crossed 3000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and as a big thank you I created a custom set of eyelash brushes for you to use in Photoshop video retouching. All you need to do is to follow the link down in the description box below. That will take you to a page where it will be suggested to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet because you know these lashes I've created as a thank you for my subscribers. Download the file, install them in Photoshop and you're good to go. So in this video I'll show you how you can install them, how you can use them, how you can customize them and use them to their full potential. Uh, full disclaimer though, I strongly believe it's always best idea to make sure everything's right on a set. So whenever you're taking a picture of a model or of a face uh, and you feel like there needs to be a little bit more lashes, ask your makeup artist to add more lashes, mascara or something to make sure everything's perfect as you want it. So in an ideal world you will never need to use these eyelash brushes but it's always a good idea to have them just in case. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you all the brushes. So after you downloaded the file, let's make sure you know where it's located. So mine one is here in the downloads. It's called lashes where I changed.abr. It's at the Photoshop brush file. Open up Photoshop and here's the file that we'll be working on. I'm using Photoshop 2020 uh, and now we're going to load the brushes into. So you can either go up to window and select the brushes or you can click this little when you have your brush selected click this little menu um, arrow here that will open up more options and you can either click on this gear icon or if you're doing it over here I click on this little hamburger menu and there will be an option import brushes so let's go to downloads and select the file and hit open and now all the lashes are here loaded for you i name them uh, as you're looking at the model's eye so even though for example let's say you have a picture of a model with the full face uh, and you selecting her left eye and using top lash left eye brush uh, if this is too confusing for you you can go ahead and right click on it and press rename brush and name it however you like but because i'm uh, shooting lots of pictures that are not full face that i just have a half face of the model or um, similar things I need it to be very clear that this is going to be model's left eye. So we have a model's left eye here, so we'll be using top lashes left, bottom lashes left and everything left. Um, okay, so let's select the brush and you see nothing is popping up because we are not on any layer. So we need to create a new layer and now the brush is there. Um, I'm always recommending uh, working on a new empty layer so you can go ahead and, uh, later and change anything that you need. Uh, I do not recommend doing it on a pixel layer or on a background layer because you won't be able to uh, go back and do any changes to it. Um, also make sure we have um, color selected so you can either go with black or what I recommend is to go ahead and pick actual color from the lashes so the darkest color that you will find somewhere around here and this is going to be our lash color and again go and select the brush top lash left eye and here it is and we can just place it in here and it's all done fantastic <laughs> uh, if it was only so easy right uh, it doesn't really look natural so let me show you how you can customize it and how we can change it and how we can make it look more believable. So I will just undo this and let's open up our brush settings it's right here or you can go up to window and brush settings and we'll be talking about shape dynamics. Um, make sure everything is here is 0, 0 and off uh, and we have a flip X jitter and flip Y jitter. What this will do for you that if you check this flip X jitter it will automatically reverse the lash to the other eye so if you don't want to go back and forth always selecting the lashes for the left and right eye you can have this flip X jitter selected and flip Y jitter is going to make them flip vertically so flip X jitter flipping them horizontally and flip Y jitter <laughs> 
flipping them vertically so this is just something that you can do to make it easier for you if the eye is not in this position and you need to move the brush you can use your arrow keys and that will angle the brush to whenever you need it to go uh, if uh, the arrow keys doesn't work or anything is not going as it should you have the angle option right here so you can add the angle manually for example let's go for 90 degrees and the brush is now in the 90 degrees i'm not too sure if this option is available for all the versions of photoshop in any case you can still just rotate your picture and place the brush however you need it to go so hold uh, r on your keyboard and move the picture around the brush will stay the same so you can just move it however you need to to make the perfect placement beautiful if you want to go away from this angled view uh, you can hit escape and you're back into normal um, so we place the lashes but still doesn't look very natural so what we can do we can go ahead and grab rubber and some normal brush and delete the excess somewhere here it's also a good idea if you uh, delete any additional eyelashes for example if your model doesn't have any lashes like mine doesn't and they are sticking all down it's a good idea to first clean it up a little bit so let me just do this real quick and i'll show you how we can go around that so clean it get a new layer this is going to be a very very quick job i just want to show you the best practices so just getting my spot healing brush and by the way i'm using my mouse right now not my vacuum tablet so yeah something like that so just so there are no like excess eyelashes that can give away that you added some falsies in there okay this will do well, now I'll grab the brush place it there angle it with your arrow keys if it's available to you place it there like that looks good if you zoom out looks good you can still darken the bottom part of the eyelashes to make it look really believable or you can use my other brush and that is natural lash so i'm particularly proud of this one eyelash natural left so let's select this one and it looks something like this let's make it a little bit bigger and angle it the way we need to you A little bit too big okay this will do here beautiful and now you wouldn't even tell that lashes were added this is the most natural um eyelash brush that there is in the collection but if you were going for something more massive i will go with these lashes uh there are also bottom ones for it as well so you see they're kind of like very big uh, if you feel like the top lashes are too much you can use actually just angle the brush on the bottom lash for 180 degrees and you can use it as a top lashes if you feel like it there is also a cluster that i've created and this is just a couple of lashes together so you can just create on your own new one completely made up lashes so let's go hit one angle a little bit angle a little bit kind of like copy the shape of the eye something like this but you see there is an obvious pattern happening so there is lashes individual as well um, again just make the size something that it's good for this and place it somewhere so it looks kind of natural however you feel 
you can really play around with this uh, you can create your own lashes like this you can create your own cluster lashes uh, you can create multiple lashes from the top left or here is the best part for the most natural results go and place the natural uh, lashes first so it will kind of give you if if your model doesn't really have any lashes like this one it will give you kind of like a good base so natural lashes first and then go ahead and place the fake lashes on top of it just make the angle as it should be like that now if we grab the rubber and get rid of the excess here look from further away looks very good to me here's also a pro tip if you want to make the lashes look absolutely believable uh, if you're on the layer where you have your lashes go up to filter and blur and select the gaussian blur and let's just make them a little bit blurry depends completely on your picture for mine something on like 0.4 will do i hit ok and we can also add go ahead to filter and add a little bit of noise so noise add noise and again we will be adding just a little bit of noise that's fine If we were to clean up this bottom part and completely make it look very nice, it, it would never say this was fake added lashes. I mean, obviously, uh, this particular picture doesn't really need such a long lashes, but uh, it will work perfectly for yours. So to recap, first clean up the excess eyelashes on the eye, then select your brush and pick an actual color from the lashes, the darkest one you will find. Place the lashes using your selected angle that you can change with your arrow keys left and right or just rotate your image pressing down R on your keyboard. After you've placed your lashes on the new empty layer, add a little bit of Gaussian blur and a little bit of noise to them to make them look absolutely believable. So there you have it, very simple. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll enjoy the lashes. Again, what you need to do is just to follow the link in the description box below. That will take you to a page that will be suggested to subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to download the file, install them in the Photoshop just that I show you and voila, you're good to go. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye.